Complement fixation test involves fixing of complement proteins which are an important component of body's immune system. Complement proteins are formed inside the liver which circulate freely in the blood and provide immunity. Consider these square blocks as the complement protein. Complement protein consists of two main parts, a small part and a large part. Basically what this fixing of complement protein means is that this large part on coming in contact with the antigen antibody complex attaches itself to the antigen antibody complex and the small part is released from the complement. So suppose this is the antigen and this is the bound antibody complement protein on coming in contact with the antigen antibody complex the small part of the complement protein would be released and the large part would remain attached to the antigen antibody complex so this is the antibody and this is the large part of the complement which is attached and this is the attached antigen to the antibody so this small part is released into the circulation this is what is called the fixing of the complement protein fixing of complement protein could be briefly defined now as that the small or the inactive part is released from the whole complement protein and the active part remains attached to the antigen antibody complex or we can say that complement protein when comes in contact with the antigen antibody complex it releases the small part the small part is rather the signaling molecule and it is released into the circulation where it attracts the other macrophages which attack the antigen antibody and complement complex and then phagocytize it which is our main aim to phagocytize the antigen or to kill the antigen there are various complement proteins um, say c2 c3 etc and they've all got two parts one being c2a and c2b and similarly C3A and C3B. Here one part is the large part and one part is the signaling molecule which is released when the complement protein comes in contact with the antigen antibody complex. Now to perform the complement fixation test we require the following reagents. One which is antigen in the serum. Second antibody third is the complement proteins and last the indicator system antigens here are represented by this red spot antibodies by a green y shaped antibody structure Complements are represented by a blue block which possesses the signaling molecule within it. Now what is this indicator system? Indicator system is basically nothing. Uh, these are the sheep erythrocytes or the RBCs of the sheep which have antibodies over its surface now these antibodies are basically derived from the rabbit serum uh, and are better known as amboceptors uh, let us revise once again the reagents reagents are the antigens 
antibody, complement proteins and the indicator system. These are the reagents to perform the complement fixation test. Now one common complement fixation test performed is the Wasserman's test. Wasserman's test is performed uh, to detect the antibodies present in the blood for syphilis. Now how is complement fixation test or the Wasserman's test performed? Consider two situations. In the two vials, we contain the serum from two individuals, one of which is affected with the syphilis would obviously possess antibodies in its serum and the other which is normal or which is not affected with the syphilis would not possess the antibodies in its serum. So let us have a look again at the the reagents which are required for complement fixation test. We have got antibodies in our affected individual. Now we got to add the antigen. Now this antigen in Wasserman's test is commonly known as Wasserman's antigen. So we need to add Wasserman's antigen in both the vials, both the vials containing the samples. So on addition of the Wasserman's antigen in the sample of the person who is affected, let us call this sample as sample A which is affected and this is sample B. So first of all we added the antigens into both the vials. The antigen antibody complex would be formed. Now we, we need we have the antibodies present in our affected individual and we obviously lack the antibodies in the serum of the individual who is not affected with syphilis. Now sec we would add the complement proteins in both the vials. We got to add the complement proteins in both the vials and on addition of the complement proteins in vial A the complement gets fixed. So an addition of the complement proteins into the vial A, we have got the antigen antibody complex activating or fixing the complement proteins. So what we will get now is that these antibody antigen complex will or would have fixed the complement and this small part would be released outside and similarly on addition of these complement proteins in the vial B we just don't get any effect because the antibodies are absent and therefore antigen antibody complex is not formed here we have got the antigen antibody complex and antibodies are absent here so the last is the indicator system which is added. Indicator system again revising is the erythrocytes of the sheep which are surrounded or over the surface of these erythrocytes rest the antibodies which are known as emboceptors. Now this emboceptor system when added in while A will not show any reaction because complement here is already fixed and already there is a presence of antigen and antibody complexes which had already fixed the complement so complement fixation test here will not be shown but on the other hand when the indicator system or the sheep's erythrocyte with the emboceptors or the antibodies is added in while B what happens is the complement system here which was added or the complement protein here which was added earlier attaches itself to the antigen antibody complexes here the surface of the RBC acts as the antigen for these antibodies or the emboceptors and this activates this complement system so now the complement system gets fixed or activated and the small part or the signaling molecule or the inactive part is released thereby activating the complement system. Now this activation of complement system results in lysis of the RBCs 
here RBC of the sheep undergo destruction or lysis which is visible in the vial here the RBCs would be seen lies in the vial now what the important thing here to note is although the RBC's destruction or lysis is shown in the vial B this test is negative and the test in the vial A which shows no reaction is the positive. Now why is this? It's because of the very same reason that the antibodies are already present. These antibodies which are already present in the vial A or the serum of the person who is affected with syphilis are the antibodies against syphilis. So because the antibodies are already present in the serum of this individual, the complement would not be fixed and the reaction would not be shown. But thus the test would be positive because we know that antibodies against the syphilis are already present. And on the other hand in the vial B, on adding the indicator system, RBC's destruction was present or the RBC's lysis was seen in the vial. Which means the test is negative here as the antibodies were not present earlier. If they would have been present earlier, the complement would have already been fixed which would then be a positive test because we are already looking for the antibodies against the syphilis antigen. So this is all about the complement fixation test. Thanks for watching. For making this video and also for the learning purpose, I referred to two textbooks. First, the textbook of microbiology by Anand Narayan and Panikar. And second, the textbook of microbiology by Dr. C.P. Baveja. These are a must have for a medical student. You can buy these textbooks online at Amazon and Flipkart by clicking the links given below in the description. And in case you don't like them, you can always return them. Happy learning!